Hello everyone, I am Griffin and we are back with another reaction video. This time we are reacting to one of my absolute favorite YouTubers and, com and comedians. Although I have not seen a lot of his shows, I just watch a lot of his videos and I think he's funny and I agree with a lot of the things he has to say because he actually uses logic and not just feeling. Uh, this is Isaac, or Isaac, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Uh, Isaac Butterfield and he is a most wonderful youtuber. I love watching him I've been watching him since I think he was around seven or eight hundred thousand subscribers and I have been watching him ever since because I think he does a wonderful job on the videos he makes Not everybody likes him. Not everybody agrees with him. A lot of people don't like what he has to say because a lot of people that don't like what he has to say go off feeling instead of logic because that's what a lot of people go off nowadays so uh, with that being said let's watch his video this one is called woke comedy is not funny Hannah Gadsby I don't really know anything about Hannah Gadsby I just know she's a feminist comedian that's all I know so let's get into it Hannah Gadsby, this lady, has a brand new special out and I need to just jump right out here and say this. She isn't funny. She's terrible. She could perhaps be one of the worst comedians who has ever lived. Her stage presence sucks, her humour is awful, the delivery is just crap, and not to mention she's confused the great art of stand-up comedy with some sort of speech you'd give in high school. Like she did that glasses. bad. And you know what? While I'm throwing a bit of shade on old Hannah, let me throw down some truth bombs for all of you watching. She wouldn't be successful if she wasn't a gay, chubby woman. She wouldn't. She wouldn't be successful at all. I guess the men of the stand-up comedy world just have higher standards. I also don't know what she identifies as. She might be gay, she may not. I'm pretty sure she's a lesbian. All I know is this woman hates dicks. I guess my point <laughs> is she's only in the position she is in because of what she looks like, not her actual comedy, which is just sad. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go deep into this new special, but before we do, this video is brought to you by the... <coughs> A lot of his videos have sponsors, and we're just going to skip right past them. Because I don't care about the sponsors. Sorry, I think Butterfield, I just really don't. Nothing against you. Amongst uh, But you got to be serious to prominent in the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when Hannah Gadsby rose to prominence in the worldwide comedy circles, it was because of her eulogy-like comedy special, Nanette. I love being mistaken for a man. I, I wouldn't want to be a straight white man. Not if you paid me. Although the pay would be substantially better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's funny. I guess if your target market is depressed, older, fat women. Which I think it is. <laughs> I, I have built a career out of self-deprecating humour. And I simply will not do that anymore. Not to myself or anybody who identifies with me. This is what Nanette was all about. It was... Let's see, okay. I, I do have a, an opinion on self-deprecating humor. The thing is, for me, for a sense of humor, if you are not able to laugh at yourself, then you don't have a sense of humor. You really don't. You, you can't have a sense of humor if you cannot laugh at yourself. It is fine if you, you know, make fun of yourself and everything to, you know, make other people's laugh. Other people's, other people laugh, sorry. It, it's, I think it's fine. Not a lot of people would probably agree. I think it's all right. Just, I would say don't do it to the point where you are actually mentally harming yourself. It's, you know, I, I rag on myself a lot and I don't actually, you know, believe a lot of the things I say about myself. Like, it's... It, it makes myself laugh and it makes others laugh and you know if I if I can laugh at this stuff myself then I think it's fine but like I said if you cannot laugh at yourself then I'm sorry you don't have a sense of humor you really do not like it or not it's the truth it was a feel-good like speech sort of TED talk kind of comedy special which was filled with quick little quips about, oh, I'm so gross and stuff, which is probably true. And I get that a lot of people like safe comedy. I don't know any of those people personally. 
thankfully I hate people who just all they care about is diversity in comedy and safe things that don't punch down I hate those people I don't have any time for those people but these type of people love Hannah Gadsby and all of her comedy specials and thank Christ I have nothing to do with them it's not even comedy mate it's comedy adjacent at best because what I would have done to have heard a story like mine Fuck, take a Lexapro and shut the fuck up. Hannah's a great example <laughs> of why the Australian comedy industry is in the terrible mess that it is in. Comedians in Australia are terrified. Yeah. He, he says safe comedy. I think the comedy I would I would say is probably closest to being safe that I've heard. That is still I would find hilarious. It was one of my absolute favorite comedians is um he was part of the blue collar comedy tour and for some reason his name escapes me uh what was <laughs> his name escapes me god damn it what what the what the what the fuck what the fuck was his name again i god why uh i'm gonna look that up because that that's gonna bug the shit out of me blue collar oh what was this bill ingvall there we go yep I'd say probably he doesn't really have any dark humor or anything. I That's probably, in my opinion, for a lot of the comedians I've watched, that's probably the closest to being safe comedy would probably be Bill Ingvall, and I still find him fucking hilarious. He, he is, he is my, one of my absolute favorite comedians, uh, Bill Ingvall. He still makes me laugh. But that's probably what I would say comes the closest to safe comedy that I've listen to i'm not sure if he's stuff would be considered safe comedy but it's not as you know dark or anything that i've listened to probably <laughs> probably one of the darker ones i've listened to and one of the best comedians in the world and i wish he was alive to see what's going on now because he he would have material out the fucking ass That'd be George Carlin. Oh my God, he'd rip everybody a fucking new one. <laughs> oh, George Carlin, may he rest in peace. Part of doing offensive material because they have to fit in with these little circles that come from Newtown and Sydney and fucking inner city Melbourne. Mate, do what you think is funny and stop trying to impress people who will never make it in the industry because, wait for it, they're not fucking funny. We have these rules in Australian comedy where you have to follow them, otherwise you're not going to be picked for the TV spots where you get famous. Like, that's just how it is. You have to be a progressive comic to get picked in those spots. And a lot of us, to that information, say fuck off. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Excellent. Welcome to the opening night of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. You want to know what's wrong with Australian comedy? There is example A. She has a massive influence on Australian comedy and it is absolutely disastrous for it. We have now a whole generation of comedians who are just making their own political beliefs known on stage with maybe one punchline in the middle. And they get a couple of giggles in the audience and they think, yes, I've made it. Time to make a TikTok account and bitch about capitalism. Fuck yeah. Hannah's also attacked other comedians like Dame Edna or Barry Humphreys before he died. In fact, she was the reason that the Melbourne International Comedy Festival changed the name of the biggest award that they give out, the Barry, to fucking, I don't know, the Hannah, I don't know. But they changed it because apparently Barry Humphreys was transphobic or some shit. Barry Award was renamed after backlash over Humphreys' controversial comments about transgender people, which included his description of gender affirmation surgery as self mutilation. Well, it's not self mutilation, but it certainly is mutilation. And he, he's a funny image to stop on. It's it's not. I'm gonna say it's not a lot of people gonna like it. It's not exactly wrong. It's not self mutilation, but you are in a sense mutilating your own body your your transgender people are putting it to what they believe what their body should be because it's what they feel, it's what they want it's feel it's what they feel comfortable with it's what they will it's what they believe will make them feel whole again but whether you like it or not 
it is the truth that it is still mutilating your own body. I'm not saying that it's in a bad way. It's just to call it not mutilation is not being uh, truthful. And I'm not saying that to put anybody down. It's just it's what it, it fits the definition. You, you are mutilating your body. Now you're changing it to what you believe will make you feel more happy and comfortable, but in the definition itself, it is still mutilation. And have you ever seen what happens in that surgery? Look it up. It's fucking insane, particularly how they make a penis. I have no issue with trans people. Do your thing, right? live your life, but don't get the surgery. It's fucking just have a dick. Christ, or, or don't have a dick, just fucking Christ. Hannah also hates Dave Chappelle, she cut sick at him, but she has been very busy of late. She's released a brand new comedy special and it's gonna take the comedy world by storm. Are you ready to laugh? I have dragged you through a bit of my shit over the years, but it's time for some payoff. Finally, after what seems like forever, Hannah Gadsby <laughs> delivers a punchline. <laughs> this is going to be a feel-good show. Okay, maybe it's my taste in comedy. Maybe I'm the one with the problem, right? But if I went to a comedy show and the comedian came out and said, Oh, tonight's all about feeling good, right? We're going to be real positive. I would be so utterly disappointed. A comedian saying that would offend me more than the most... Honestly, if I went to a comedy show or if I wanted to do, listen to any comedy... I personally do not care. I don't fucking care for feel good. I don't want feel good comedy. I want I want it to you can make me fucking laugh. Be it eat, you know, be a dick. Make it dark. Do something. Just say something. Make it funny. Don't make it so. Oh, I you know get warm and fuzzies in my heart. No, fuck that. Make me laugh. You know, be evil. <laughs> Most offensive joke ever written. I am gobsmacked that people in the 2020s are entertained by jokes that would have been seen as safe comedy in the 1920s. You're not pushing any boundaries, you're not punching anywhere, you're barely writing jokes, you're just reading a book aloud. It's like listening to fu and a fucking audiobook on tape, but you're on stage reading it. You're not even achieving anything when you make people laugh. These people, these women in the audience, would laugh at anything. They're off their heads on Xanax and white wines. You could pull your fucking hairy bush out, Hannah, and they'd giggle at that too. Clean comedy sucks. The end. I got married. I don't necessarily di disagree with him. Clean comedy does kind of suck. It, it's, it's rather really, it's rather boring. It really is. Okay, the fact that she has a sex life makes me feel nothing but queasy. I've had three knee reconstructions. Can't imagine why. My pretend <laughs> <are> spongy. <laughs> it's actually quite painful for me to kneel. That's why I can't sleep with men. It's a dick sucky joke, I get it. But that's the joke you went with to advertise how funny your comedy special is. Come on, Hannah, you can do better. It's got to the stage Obviously in our not. relationship. We tell couple stories now. I know. Bleh. But Jeno and I. Hit the bleh. Replay the blip. I know. Blech. She thought she was going to get a laugh there in her own comedy special, right? She didn't get a laugh, but they included it in the trailer. You need to fire your fucking editors. That's terrible. Apparently the best comedian that Australia has ever produced, Hannah fucking Gadsby, bombs in her own special. Nice. I have little ducks on there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little goose. Just for the next hour, we're going to feel good together, and then we can head back out there and be the mass extinction event that we are. Fuck yeah, woke comedy. How good is it? I didn't say who it's a feel-good show for. You know who I feel sorry for? The editors who made this comedy special, working their fingers to the bone, adding laugh tracks at every possible location. Woke comedy just isn't good. It just is not good. If you go to a comedy show like an open mic night is there in woke City, anything Sydney, isn't good. or Melbourne in Australia or anywhere in the world where you know that progressive comedians hang out, I guarantee you, if you had to measure it by laughs by minute, it would be fucking dismal. But you'd still have people in there going, wow, what a great show. Did you see his point he made on climate change? It was so great. Fuck off. Stop making points in comedy. Just make people laugh, you wanker. If you want to make points, go and be a politician, you And it's because of all this that everything's fucking taboo in Australia, and that's why I'm getting dragged in front of the Human Rights Commission, which I still haven't heard back from, by the way. They said the case is going ahead. Feel free to let me know what's going on, you <laughs> fellas. So cheers, Hannah, for 
slowly destroying comedy. I really appreciate it. But let me tell you this, people of America. The Batman is on his way. That's me, if you didn't know, I'm talking in third person. What an asshole. Dates will be announced very, very shortly, possibly in next week's video. How fucking cool is that? I'm going all over the country. I think I'm doing about 10 shows, so not all over the country, but a fair few places. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, fuck off. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do something. I don't know, does people, do people even do that anymore? Uh, I'll see you next time. Toodaloo, au revoir, bye bye. Hello, it is Charles Dick. I yeah. Well, that was Isaac Butterfield's Woke Comedy is Not Funny. I'm sorry, but Woke Anything is just. It's fucking stupid. It's annoying. It's horrible. Don't be woke. Just don't. It's done nothing but destroy everything. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please, I'm not going to say please give a thumbs up or subscribe or anything. Just do whatever you want. If you enjoyed the video, great. If you didn't, well, sorry. I can't help you there. But anyways, if there if there's anything else you'd like to see me react to, whether it be a person, uh, music, and you know anything, let me know in the comments below, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you all for being here, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, or morning. Bye bye.